Welcome to our Angular troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter after building their projects. Our viewer is facing a problem with their routes not working as expected. They have defined routes for their application, but when they build the project and navigate to certain paths, they receive a 404 error instead of the expected redirection. Let's dive into the details and see what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue with your Angular routes. When you build your project using the command ng-build, it compiles your application for production. The problem arises when you try to access routes directly in the browser. Unlike development mode, the production build does not handle deep linking automatically. To fix this, you need to configure your web server to redirect all requests to your index.html file. This allows Angular to handle the routing. If you're using a different server like Nginx or a Node.js server, you'll need to set up similar redirection rules. Finally, after making these changes, rebuild your project and deploy it again. This should resolve the 404 error and allow your routes to work as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix Angular 2 routes not working after building your project, you need to set up a redirect. Use the path wildcard to redirect all unknown routes. A better approach is to define specific routes for your components, like welcome and login, and then redirect any unknown routes to the welcome page. Remember to include leading slashes in your path definitions for them to work correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix Angular 2 routes not working after building the project, one user changed their build command from ng-build to ng-build nash-prod. However, this solution is only suitable for production environments. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please just shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.